Welcome to Prentice Town. Population dudes. This is Chaos Walking. Hi, I'm Mike Butler. I'm Mike Field. And this is Now Renting with Forgotten Cinema, brought to you by Row 8. So, Mike, uh, we said we're watching Chaos Walking. What's it about? Well, that, I'm glad you asked. Oh, thank you. And here we go. In Prentice Town, Todd has been brought up to believe that the Spackle released a germ that killed all the women and unleashed the noise on the remaining men. After discovering a patch of silence out in the swamp, his surrogate parents immediately tell him that he has to run. So that's what Chaos Walking is about. And as usual, me and Mike are going to give you three things we liked about Chaos Walking and why maybe you should give it a rent. Field, what's your number one? Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen will always be a number one, no matter what the movie he is. And he is really good in this movie. He is really good, period. Uh, I also recommend you see the TV show Hannibal. But we're here on, on Row A right now talking about Chaos Walking. I just, I got a big man crush on Mads. Mike, what's your number one? Uh, before I get into that, uh, I don't have Mads on this list, but you should absolutely watch Hannibal. <laughs> I second that. Uh, my number one is going to be Tom Holland. I think he did a really good job in this film. Uh, he's got a lot to do. The f I don't think there's really too many scenes that he's not in. He's really your uh, central focus. You get to read his thoughts as the noise is thoughts. Uh, and his acting is really good. He does a really good job carrying this film. Uh, my number two is the setting of the movie, the whole the planet that they're on, the actual setting of the spackle, just the idea of colonization, how they were going to build the monorail, all that stuff. I just I found that very interesting because it's never just, hey, we're going to go to this planet and we're going to live there and we're good. You, you do have to build the infrastructure. So I do appreciate that. What's your number two? My number two uh, matches that kind of it's the setting. Uh, it's not your typical sci-fi, we're on a different planet setting. They're using horses. They've built houses with wood. Uh, they have some remainders of the ship that they used to come on. They have some technology. But for the most part, they're bare bones building back up their society. So like you said, it's an interesting look at colonization, as well as the look of the film is very gray. It's very rainy. It's very under uh, undercolored, I guess. It's not bright and shiny. Um, but it's also not gritty. It's just very kind of regal and muddy and, and foresty, it's which I like. Yeah, it's yeah, natural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My number three is David Oyelowo. Yes. He plays the preacher in the movie. Uh, I, his story is extremely interesting. Uh, his, his background is, I find, much more interesting than him in the movie because he is clearly in this movie dealing with uh, the aftermath of what he has done, and you'll find out because I'm not going to reveal it. But I actually really liked him in this movie, and I wanted to know more about the preacher character. What's your number three? My number three is The Noise. I really like it in the film. I think it's a really interesting concept. I think it's uh, utilized between Daisy Ridley's character and Tom Holland's character very well. Um, and I like that it, it is something that you really have to like control I and mean, you can't control your thoughts. Like who, who can, you're always having thoughts about everything all the time and not being able to hide it and having that out there and being able to have to apologize, but also live about live with it. I think is a very interesting concept and it gets them in trouble a lot of times. Cause how do you hide secrets that you can't, possibly hide. So Chaos Walking is available for rent on row eight. If you're there now, obviously click on the button below this video and, and rent away and enjoy. Mike, what can they, where can they find us? Who are we? We're Forgotten Cinema, a podcast about forgotten films. You can find us at Forgotten Cinema Podcast or wherever you get your podcasts. So check us out. We release a new episode every Wednesday. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Field. I'm Mike Butler. This is now renting with Forgotten Cinema brought to you by row eight.